Good day to the audience around the world. Today is Monday, the 16th of May, 2022, and it's now 11.30 p.m. in Taiwan. I'm Fiona Zhang Xinfang. Welcome to the weekly report of the World New Religion, Taiwan Weixin Shen Jiao, the Sagely Teachings of the Heart at Weixin TV station. Following Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's instruction, starting from May 2nd, Chan Jishan Weixin Shen Jiao launched the elucidation at the double fourth benediction ritual with the sound of golden bell at the Shrine of Heaven of Headquarters Xianfo's Temple. On this special occasion, the ritual invited the broad covering king who oversees the 22nd Heavenly Palace of the Southern Heaven, mentioned in the Heavenly Virtue Scripture of Immortal Master Gui Gu, to empower the Shrine of Heaven and turn the Dharma Wheel to protect the sentient beings from harm. Meanwhile, the spirit of 918 emperors of the Chinese people and the deceased spirits in the 3,762 wars to participate in the Dharma Feast. The ritual recited the scripture on clarity and tranquility and the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu to appease the sacred souls of our ancestors. At the same time, thousands of Buddhist candles are lit up and wishing holy hymns are played for the harmony and harvest across the strat and world peace. Let's listen to Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's latest preaching. Chan Jishan Weixing Shen Jiao held the elucidation at the Double Force Benediction Ritual with the sound of Golden Bell on April 2nd of Lunar Calendar in the Shrine of Heaven. On the fourth day after the ritual started, Grandmaster Hun Yun Chan Shi elucidated Weixing cultivators by saying that Chen 正是啟用为我们天下开启这个天机就是开启每个人自信的灵性无论领养两界的天人众生都有佛性这是阿弥陀佛阿门阿弥陀这个每个人都平等都有的所以我们一路走来四十多年了
，所以王禅老祖的的大慈大悲，以各种方式来引导我们维新弟子。要重新来修起，从零来安零，自己安自己的零。那要安自己的零，从哪里安起？啊，就从内心、内观。内在的一片净土啊，我们的念，念是往往是漂浮不定，念有恨，有怨，有不满，所以念是我们最大的障道之本。我们要用心，心是由上往下来看大地，来观宇宙虚空，叫观空。啊，不是看什么都没有叫做观空，不是这样。观空就是我们的空性。已经包瓦包含了太阳系九大行星，啊，银河星系，无限宽广的虚空，那是我们的心啊。Master Kun Yun Chan Shi pointed out that we should cultivate our hearts by receiving perception from five senses and then interiorize them. That is not easy. From gradually abandon external five senses through interiorization and store them in our hearts beyond borders and limits, we hear the sound of golden bell. The golden bell hung on the dragon side of the shrine of heaven. Whenever wishing virtuous cultivators come to the shrine of heaven, they can ring the golden bell three times. With the sound of the golden bell, it's like informing ancestors with sorry appearances to worship the great jade emperor for Buddhahood as completion. Grandmaster Hu Yunchan Shi encouraged wishing virtuous cultivators to cultivate ourselves in compliance with the Dharma and abide by the religion, and come to the shrine of heaven to worship all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, and to cultivate ourselves for optimization. He also reminded us must to keep those ten thousand Buddha lamp light up. Within report, the headquarters Xianfu Si Temple. Take a break. We will come back soon. In accordance with the 2022 College Student Affair Working Plan, on Tuesday, May 31st, Weixin Shenjiao College hosted the seminar on discovering the world of the heart through Yi Jin at the International Conference Hall of Education and Administration Building. The principal of Yi Jin University gave two keynote speeches. The event mainly invited teachers, academic and administrative staff, students and parents from Taiwan colleges and universities, schools at all levels in the central region to participate in the discussion and exchange of the world of Yi Jin. Weixin Shenzhou College will hold a seminar on May 31st at the Administration Building, International Convention Hall of Weixin Shenzhou College. Targeting teachers, mentors, administrative staffs, students, and parents in national colleges and universities and schools at all levels in the Central District by Tian Li Wei, the president of the Yijing University, to lead everyone into the world of Yijing and seek a way of peace. 
peace of mind. The seminar Discovering the World of the Heart Through I Ching, hosted by Weixing Shenzhou College, is the Ministry of Education's 111 Annual Student Affairs Work Plan for Colleges and Universities, Moral Education, Life Education, Outings and Heart to Heart on the Journey of Life Together Program. Seminar adopts online registration, and here is the registration website address. Or telephone connect with Xinxinjiao College 1492209418, extension 301303. The registration period is until May by the end of the 15th. Through the seminar, teachers, students, and counselors of schools at all levels can deepen their understanding of moral education, respect the equality of life, and establish the heart and life of an ethical order, so as to inspire and enhance moral cultivation and new thinking. In the seminar, President Tian will use I Jing get to the core of the question and answer, and lead everyone into the world of benefit the public and bring peace of mind. Welcome all the teachers, students, and directors of colleges and schools at all levels to sign up for the seminar. Weixing Report, Weixing Shenzhou College. On the 8th of May, Abbot Master Yuan Chang of Xinyin Branch Temple and the Virtuous Fellows had a pre-work meeting of the Anniversary Disaster Elimination and Benediction Ritual from June 18th to June 19th. Take a look. In the morning of May 8th, Chanjishan Wei Xin Shenzhao Xinyin Branch Temple held the cadre meeting for the preparation of Ren Yin Year 2022 anniversary ritual. Xinyin Branch Temple host Master Yuan Chang convinced the cadres and presided the meeting. The anniversary ritual of Xinyin Branch Temple is going to be launched from June 18th to 19th. The preparation works and the schedule of the volunteers shipped to prepare the daily offerings of the ritual will be discussed during the meeting. Master Yuan Chang firstly explained the ritual's information, then assigned virtuous cultivators to preside over the meeting. In this ritual, Master Yuan Chang is the chief executive. Male virtuous fellow Gong is the executive. Male virtuous fellow Xie is the deputy executive. And female virtuous fellow Luo is the cashier. In the morning of June 18th, volunteers will clean the dishes required for the anniversary and arrange the decoration of the shrine. The virtuous fellows of the 16th intermediate class responsible for presenting food offerings on table are also one of group who put away the feasted offerings. Virtuous cultivator Ding and virtuous cultivator Wang are responsible for leading and allocation of the work. Lecturer Lin Chunchen and Lecturer Lin Yuxia lead the volunteers to purchase ingredients, foods, and drinks for two days' ritual. Virtuous cultivator Xu and virtuous cultivator Liao help with the allocation of the work. The virtuous fellows of the 21th and 24th intermediate class responsible for ceremonial affairs of the ritual are led by virtuous cultivator Xie and assisted by virtuous cultivator Qiu, virtuous cultivator Chen, virtuous cultivator Ong, and virtuous cultivator Xie. All virtuous cultivators' units and support to complete the ritual. On the other hand, to keep the virus from spreading branch temple, all attendees have to wear a mask, require real name and cell phone numbers restoration, take their forehead temperature when attendees go in, and take alcohol disinfectant. Master Yuan Chang properly planning the work of ritual carefully and requested all virtuous cultivators fully devoted themselves into the ritual. He also pleased virtuous cultivator Guo Yuyi to be responsible for the video recording of the ritual. The meeting was completed successfully. Weixin report Guo Yuyi, Xinyin Branch Temple. To celebrate the Branch Temple's 15th anniversary, Abbot Master Yuan Tang of Weixin Shenzhao Jilong Branch Temple launched the anniversary disaster elimination and benediction ritual from May 7th to May 8th. Following the rite of Weixin Shenzhao, delicacies were prepared during the ritual. In the sound of the reciting of heavenly virtue scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu, we pray for peace in Taiwan and the world and the well-being of every participant in the ritual. Take a look. 
Jilong Branch Temple launched the 50th anniversary disaster elimination and benediction ritual from May 7th to 8th. Master Yuan Tang, the host of Jilong Branch Temple, led virtuous cultivators to piously invite all heavenly sages to descend to the altar and prepare incense, flowers, fruits, delicacies as offerings. The local spirits in the three realms and ten Dharma directions had been surmounted in the ritual to receive the 50th Dharma offering. Master Yuan Tang indicated that since the establishment of Jilong Branch Temple in 2007, we had been blessed by Wang Chan Lao Zhu, the guidance of Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, the support of the Buddhas and all the virtuous cultivators. The anniversary is now in its 15th year. We hope through these benediction rituals, all the spirits could accept these offerings, feel content and inspired. It is worth to mentioning that when asked about those spirits on the lotus seat if they had come to receive 50 Dharma offerings, the divination blocks represented yes three times continuously, which was a rare occurrence described by the chanters. It denoted that all the spirits could feel the faith and sincerity of Master Yuan Tang and the virtuous cultivators of Jilong Branch Temple. The sweet dew was offered in the afternoon of the second day through the mudras and chanting sound. All the offerings were transformed into thousands to purify the Dharma realm, wishing that all sentient beings would be fulfilled with immense joy. The ritual completed successfully. Everyone celebrated the anniversary together. Master Yuan Tang indicated that as long as one believes in the Dharma of Wei Xing Shen Jiao, all sentient beings and ancestral spirits will be safe. All virtuous cultivators will be healthy. Wei Xing reports, Xu Mingzhen, Wu Yiting, Jilong Branch Temple. Take a break. We will come back soon. It's time for Wei Xin Shen Jiao feature story. My colleagues here to share with you the real story of utilizing Yijin Feng Shui in our daily lives. Please enjoy the story of this week. Everybody, Amitabha, welcome to Wei Xin Shen Jiao feature story. One believer who used to do quite well in business felt very unhappy in the last two years and spent twice as much effort as before but the results were less than 30%. One day, when he saw Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi explaining Yi Jing on TV, he realized that his shortcomings was that he was too obsessed. Sometimes he clung to one side, sometimes to the other side, and he did not transcend the two sides to take the middle way. As a result, many problems cannot be solved. So, he followed the advice of Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi and let go of his past obsessions. At the same time, he mediated for half an hour each morning and evening, reflecting on today and planning for tomorrow. The results were quite good, and business has improved considerably. Last month, he visited Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi at Qianfo Si Temple and told him happily that he had realized that the middle way is indeed the highest standard of conduct in life. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi instructed him that change means yin and yang, that is, the sun and the moon. And we should not favor the sun or the moon, but must stand in the middle between the sun and the moon, which is the earth, which is the middle way. Therefore, we must be grateful to the earth for giving us a place to stand and to the sun and the moon for the opportunity to learn the middle way. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi further pointed out that the truth of change is also the truth of the universe, can be divided into the way of heaven, the way of earth, and the way of humanity. The way of heaven is human thought and human wisdom. The way of humanity is human ethic and human behavior. We are born as human beings. If we do not practice the way of humanity, we cannot practice the way of heaven. In other words, if you do not fulfill your responsibility as a human being, no matter how serious you cultivate, you will not be able to become a Buddha. The great Dharma will scripture of Yi Jing taught by Confucius teaches us to practice the way of humanity and the way of heaven together. 
Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi wants us to recite more diligently and become Buddha in this life without waiting for the next life. Because where we are going to be born in the next life is unknown. If it is in Africa, where it is hot and poor, survival is a big problem, not to mention doing meritorious deeds. Then, of course, we will not have such a good opportunity today. A believer once asked Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi if he needed to learn the Great Dharma Will Scripture of Yi Jing after practicing Buddhism for a long time. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi encouraged the follower that if we study this scripture, we will forge ahead vigorously like a tiger that has grown wings with redoubled power. There are only benefits, and we will not have any hindrance to our practice. Next time, we will share the interpretation of the Great Dharma Will Scripture of Yi Jing by Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi with you. We hope that everyone can practice together and turn the wheel of Dharma together. Thank you for watching today's feature story. All the best and see you next time. Following Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi's instruction, Hunei Branch Temple planted Taiwan pine at the dragon side of the branch temple. Dean of the Planning Institute of Wei Shenjiao Yijin University, Master Yuan Chang, went to Hunei Branch Temple to provide professional assistance. Following the instruction of Grandmaster Huyuan Chen Shi, Hunei Branch Temple started planting pine trees and sprucing up the landscape in the open space of the dragon site on May 7th. It also improved the humanistic spirit of the saying, it takes 10 years to grow a tree, but 100 years to rear a person, for Hunei Branch Temple. The end of Planning Institute of Wei Xin Shenjiao Master Yuan Cang guided and assisted in the planting of pine trees in person at Hunei Branch Temple. Dian Yuan Cang has deep knowledge in landscape planning and garden landscaping, including the distance of planting, the allocation of sand, etc. There are certain requirements for the pine tree to grow well after being planted. Considering the drainage, facilitating watering in the future, and the installation of pipelines, motor, and the water tower for the plumber, Dian Yuanzang instructed using layaway to grow the pine tree. Using fine sand and gravel as the first layer, pine tree at the second layer, and bearing soil at the last. All planting details are arranged by Master Yuan Li. We are Pujan 希望在能够下午的时候能够圆满。非常感谢大家,呃,所有贤士同修在这里的护持,和众五月松,也希望,呃,贤士所有贤士同修,在这里,无论道长来参拜王禅老子,来供送鬼谷贤士队的金,大家